In this lesson, we're going to look at matrix multiplication. Now, the most important thing you need to understand is the order. Now, what do I mean by that? A few lessons ago, I explained to you the order of a matrix. Like, let's say this is A, B, C, D, E, and F. Then what we said was that this one has two rows, okay? And then it has three columns. So we call this a two by three matrix. All right. So... When you are multiplying, there are a couple things that I want you to please remember. Step one, I want you to get the matrix. I mean, <laughs> not the matrix. Get the order of both matrices or matrices, okay? So you need to get the order of both of them, okay? And then I want you to do the following. Look at the column of the first matrix or the column order, the column order of first matrix. I'll show you an example now. And then the row order of the second matrix. Then I want you to ask yourself, are they the same? Are they the same? If yes, then you can multiply them. They can be multiplied. If no, then they cannot be multiplied. But I'll show you an example now, okay? So that's very important. Maybe you just wanna pause and write that down. I'm quickly gonna erase this and just to, well, actually, I think I've got some examples here. Um, right, so, okay, and then there's a third one. Um, yeah, let me just show you with an example. So let's say we have a matrix 3, minus 6, 1, and 4. Then the other one is 3, 2, 4, minus 1, minus 2, and 6. Okay, so what I want you to do, quickly find the order. So this one is a two row by two column. Remember, it's always the row first and then the column. Then the next one is a two row followed by a three column. Okay, so what I want you to do is look at the column number of the first one and the row number of the second one. So it's these two inner numbers. Are they the same? Yes, they are. So this means you can multiply them. Now, something else I want to add. After you multiply them, okay, the answer, the answer matrix is going to be to work out the answer, the order of the answer, you look at the, this number and this number. So you'll say that the answer is gonna be a two by three matrix. Okay, we're gonna do some examples now. So my first question to you is, can these matrix matrices be multiplied? So let's have a look. We know that this is a two row, two rows and three columns. This one is two rows and two columns. So look at the middle numbers, the, those two inner numbers. Are they the same? No, they're not. So can these be multiplied? No. They can only be multiplied if these two inner numbers are the same. Okay? Okay, so have a look here. Here we have a two by two matrix. Two rows, two columns. Here we have a two by three. Two rows, three columns. So look at the, look at the middle numbers. Are they the same? Yes. So these two matrices can be multiplied. When you multiply them, the answer or the matrix, the, the matrix that we get as the answer will be a two by three matrix. That's what the answer would be, a two by three uh, matrix. That would be the answer at the end. So let's have a look at these two. Can they be multiplied? Well, the first one is two rows and three columns. The second one is three rows and two columns. So if you look at the inner numbers, so those two, are they the same? Yes. So these two can be multiplied. What will the answer look like? Well, it will be a two by two matrix. It'll be a two by two matrix. That'll be the answer. Okay, let's quickly look at this. And then I'm gonna show you how to actually multiply the two matrices. So let's look at this one. This one is two rows and three columns. Okay, then this one is, what is this one? This one is um, three rows and two columns. 
So if you look at the inner numbers, yes, they are the same. So these can be multiplied. The answer will be a two by two. Okay, so that's very important that you understand that. So let me show you how to multiply two matrices. The first thing is just to get the order. So two by two, and this is also two by two. So can they be multiplied? Yes. The next thing, what would the answer look like? Would it be a two by three, a three by two? Well, well done if you realize that the answer will be a two by two. So there will be two rows, so two rows and two columns. That's what two rows and two columns looks like. Let me just write it a bit better. Two rows and two columns. Okay, so the way that you do it is the following. We start with this one here. Now, what row is that in? That's in row one. Okay, so you're gonna go to the first one and say row one. What column is this in? That's in column one. So you go to this one and you say column. So this one is where you're gonna see the rows and this one's where you're gonna see the columns, okay? And so what you're gonna do now, it's very weird at first. This is gonna be very, very weird, but please hang in there. I remember seeing this for the first time. It is strange, um, but you'll see it's, 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 it's gonna make a lot of sense as we practice with numbers um, later on in this lesson. So we're gonna, okay, so you're gonna multiply the A and the E together, okay? Then you're gonna say plus, and then you're gonna multiply the B and the G together, okay? That is how we do this first one. Now we're gonna move on to this next one. So what, what row is this in? This is in row number one. So we go to row number one. And then what column is this in? This is column number two. So we go to column number two. And then we do the same exact thing. So you say A times F plus B times H. Okay, that's done. Now we scratch out, scratch out. Now we are over here. So that is row number two. So we go to row number two and it's in column number one. You see it's in column number one, so we go to column number one, and you do the same thing. So it's C times E plus D times G. Now we go to this last piece over here, which is row number two, so we go to row number two, and then we go to, this is column number two, so we go to column number two. And so that's gonna be um, C times F plus D times H. And there we go. Let's do another one quickly. So let's just first make sure that we can actually multiply these together. So we know that this one is a three by two, three rows and two columns. This one is a two row by two column. So can it work? Yes, because these two numbers are the same. So that'll work. So what would the answer look like? Well, the answer would be a three row by two column. So three rows by two columns, that would look like this. See that, three rows, and then two columns, which are these parts over here. Okay, but I'm gonna need a lot more space, so just hold on. So for this first one, okay, so this, this one over here, this is in row number one. Okay, so we go to, in the first matrix, we go to row number one, because we're multiplying these two together. Okay, and the order is very important. You can't just say, oh, I'll choose this one's row one and this one's column one. No, no, the first one that you are multiplying, the one in the front, you choose that one's row, okay? And then this is in column number one. So you go to this one now and you choose column number one. And then you just go multiply the same parts. So that's gonna be um, A, G, and then plus B, I, okay. So now we go to this one, or it doesn't really matter. Like, let me show you how cool this is. Let's say you chose uh, this one. Check how easy this is. This is in row number two, so you'd go to row number two, and it is in column number two, so you'd go to column number two. And those are the ones that you would multiply, so it doesn't really matter. So that would be CH, because it's C times H, plus D times J, so plus DJ. You see, so it doesn't really matter which way we do it. Uh, we could do this one, for example. So that is in row three, so we go row three, and it's in column one, so we go to column number one, which is that. So that's gonna be E, G, plus F, I, F, I. Okay, and then we choose, for example, uh, this one over here, 
So this one, so that would be in uh, row three, row three, and then uh, column number two, so that would be EH plus uh, FJ, like that. And then what's left? Okay, so we can do this one, for example, So or this one here. So that's in row two, so we go to row two, and then this one's in column one, so we choose column one. And so that's gonna be C, G, plus uh, D, I. Okay, and then what's next, what's next? Okay, so um, this one, well this one here obviously, so that's gonna be in uh, row one, you see it's in row one, so we go to row one, and then it's in column two, so that's in column two, uh, or it's in column two here, so we go to column two over here. And so that's gonna be, uh, what, what do we say, row one, column two, so that's gonna be A, H, plus uh, B, J. And there we go. Now we're actually gonna start doing these things with numbers. So here we go. First of all, always make sure that the two matrices can be multiplied. So this is a two by two, and then this one over here is also a two by two. So can they be multiplied? Yes, because the two numbers in the middle are the same. What will the answer look like? Well, the answer would be a two by two. So we make a two by two matrix, um, and that'll be the first part, that'll be the second part, and then so on and so forth. So let's start here. That is in row one, column one. So we go to row one. See how it's very important that this is the first matrix and this is the second one. It's not the same with normal numbers where five times four is the same as four times five. With matrices, it is totally not like that. Whichever one, it makes a difference which one comes first. Okay, so we, we chose this one. So that's gonna be row one, because this is in row one, and then column one, because that's in column one. And so that's gonna be five times negative six, so five times negative six plus two times negative one, two times negative one. Go ahead, you just type that all on your calculator or you can be brave and work it out manually, but it should be negative 32. Okay, so we've got negative 32 over there. Then the next one, uh, let's do this one here. So that's in row one, column two. So we go row one, column two. So that's gonna be five times negative four plus two times zero, uh, and that's gonna give us negative 20, negative 20. Then the next one would be uh, this one, yes, that's row two, so we go to row two, and then column one, it's in column one, so we go there, and so that's gonna give us negative 36, oh, I think I'm scratching out, um, there's a little negative over there. So negative 36 uh, plus, and then these two multiplied together, so that's gonna be positive four, and so that's gonna give us negative 32, negative 32. The next one, or the last one, is gonna be this one over here, so that's in row two, column two. So row two, column two. So uh, let's not scratch any of those negatives out again, Kevin. So that's gonna be um, six times negative four plus negative four times zero, and so that's gonna be negative 24, negative 24. Two more examples. So here we have a two by two matrix, and a two row, two row by three column matrix. So will there be an answer? Yes, because these two numbers are the same. What would the answer look like? Well, the answer would be a two by three matrix. So that's two rows, but three columns. So two rows, but three columns. That's what that looks like. Two rows, but three columns. See that? Okay, so now I'm gonna challenge you a bit. Let's go find this one first. So uh, that's in row number two. So we go to row number two and it's in column two. See, it's in column two. So we go to column two and those are the numbers that we're gonna use. So I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that, that's better. Okay, you see that, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you don't have to always start at the beginning. So it's gonna be negative one. So it's one times negative one, which is negative one, plus negative two times one is negative two. So it's gonna end up being negative one minus two, which is negative three. Okay, now let's just go to this one. So that's in row one, so we go to row one, and column one, so in this one we go to column one. So this is always the row, and this is always the column. And so um, let's rather do that, and let's rather do that. So that's gonna be four times four, which is 16, and then five times negative four is negative 20, so that's gonna be negative four, like that. Okay, and then this one over here, 
that is in row one, column two. And so that's going to be um, negative four plus five, and so that gives you a one. So that's going to be a one over there. Now let's do this one. So that's in uh, row number one and column number three. There we go. So that's going to be negative eight, take away 25, and so that's going to be negative 33. So that's going to be negative 33. Then we're going to do, um, then we're going to do this one over here. So that's going to be um, row number two. You see it's in row number two. So we go to row number two and then it's in column number one. So column number one. Like that. And so that's going to be 1 times 4, which is 4. Um, and then negative 2 and negative 4, which is 8. That's plus 8. So that's going to be 12. Okay, we're getting there. Now, we don't have to do this one because we already did that one earlier. So now we're doing this one, which is then, uh, what's that, row number 2. So we go row number 2, column number 3, column number 3. How cool is that? Whoa, why am I scratching it out? Come on, bro. Let's get real. So, so then 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. And then plus uh, negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. And so that's going to be um, an 8. And there we go. We've got one more example. So here we have a 3 by 2. 3 by 2. Because it's got three rows and two columns. And then this one is a 2 by 2. So is it possible that they can multiply? Yes, because those inside numbers are the same. What would the answer look like? Well, it would be a 3 row by 2 column. So 3 row by two columns, so that's what this looks like. It's got three rows, see there? Row one, row two, row three, and then it's got two columns, so column one, column two. Okay, and then it's a matrix, boom. Okay, so for example, just to challenge you a little bit again, uh, let's say we want this one. So that's in row two, so you go to row two, um, and then, which one did we say, this one? And then that's in column number two, so we go to column number two. Um, so let's quickly just do that. Okay, so that's going to be 1 times 2, which is 2, and then plus uh, negative 1 times negative 1 is 1, and so that's going to be a 3. There we go. Okay, that was a little challenge. Now I'm just going to do it normally. So this one here, so that's row 1. So we go row 1, uh, column. It's in column 1, so we go column 1. Okay, so let's just do that, do that. And so that's going to be uh, 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6, 1 times 4, which is negative 4, and that's going to give us negative 10. Okay, and then this one over here is in row 1, because that's row 1, so we go row 1, uh, column 2, boom, there we go. So let's just do that. I don't know why I keep drawing lines through it. So that's going to be 2 times 2, which is 4, uh, plus 1 times minus 1, which is negative 1, so that's going to give us 3, so we put a little 3 over there. Okay, now we're going to do this one. This is the last example, by the way. I know you guys are probably so sick of this right now. Um, so it's this one here. So that's in row number two. So we go to row number two. And then it's in uh, column number one. So we go to column number one. So that's going to be one times negative three, which is negative three, plus negative one times negative four, which is four. And so that's going to give us one. There we go. Now we are going to go to this one over here, which is uh, row number three, row number three, column number one, column number one. So um, that's going to be six plus, and then one times negative four is just negative four. So it's six take away four, which is two. So we can put a two over there. And finally, we are now going to be doing this one over here, which is row number three, because it's row three, and it's in column number two, column number two. Bob's your auntie. Okay, I don't know why I say that. Um, yeah, Bob's your... People here, I don't know. I don't know if people in America say it a lot, but like here in South Africa, um, when someone's like, there you go, yeah, sometimes people say like, and Bob's your uncle. I don't know, it's a stupid saying that we say, but I like to say Bob's your auntie, so I guess I'm really weird, because I like take something that's stupid to say and I make it even more stupid. Whoa, I think that was just way too much info. I think we should actually just um, carry on. This is pretty awkward right now. So um, with this last one here, we're going to take this um, this row and this column over here. Okay, so that's going to be negative 4 plus, and then 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. So negative 5. And there we have it, multiplying matrices.